Welcome to this video showing you how to use the dividends workbook and how to print out your tax vouchers and your minutes. So based on the figures we've already entered, for John Smith Limited we can declare a dividend up to £230 in April. And remembering the amount that goes in this figure, this um, cell here, is the total dividend declared. So if we were to declare £230 for the month, that would go half to John Smith and half to Anne Smith because they're both 50% shareholders. Now, the date paid and the meeting date are normally going to be the same. So if we put the date paid there, say we decide to pay that on the 28th of April 15, then the meeting date will either be 28th of April 15 or maybe slightly before. But it's fine just to put the same date as you pay it. And then we can see we had £230 available in April. We've used some of that, so this figure here for available for May has gone down. So if we take the 230 out, you'll see it carries it forward and gives us more available for May. But we'll assume we've paid 230 in May. We paid 500 pounds in a, in sorry 230 in April, 500 pounds in May. So the date for May, we'll put it the 25th of May, 25th of May 15. And then the next thing we want to do for each of these dividends is print the tax vouchers and the minutes. If we go here onto the tax voucher tab you'll see there that you've got the ability to drop down and select the date. Once you select the date, it fills in the information for however many shareholders you have. And we've got a third um, dividend voucher here, which is showing NA because we've only got two shareholders. If you do control P, you can then print this as a um, PDF or print it out but you only want to print pages one to two if you've got two shareholders, page one if you've only got one shareholder, and obviously all three um, pages if you've got three shareholders. You also want to print the minutes. The minutes are completed based on the information that you've um, entered, and you would control P, and again, you'd print that for your records. And if you're doing hard copies, you want to sign them as well and file them. Now, you've also got a checklist here, and the, or the check tab, and the check tab will tell you if you're, um, you've declared too much dividends. So if we go back to our dividends tab, if for instance we accidentally declared £800 this month, so that leaves us overpaid on our dividends, we've got minus there. If you click on this check tab, before you make the payment, it will tell you that you've got an illegal dividend problem. Email us with this workbook with the subject help. I think I have declared too much dividend. So always, always, sorry, I won't go to the dividend tab. Always, before you actually pay that dividend, fill in this figure here, check on this checkbook, and also keep an eye on whether or not this has gone negative. If this says zero in the column B, then you cannot declare a dividend. So that's how the dividend um, worksheet works. If you declare two dividends in the month, so supposing you declare a, a dividend on 7th of April and one on the 14th of April, and they were £100 each time, then you'd want to put in the first one in here, 100, the meeting date and the paid date being the same, 7th of April 15. Go and print off either, again, PDF or physically print your dividend voucher and your dividend minutes for that first dividend then go back in and do the second one so that's another hundred pounds on the 14th of april 15. again go and print off that tax voucher go and print off those minutes and then you what you want to do is you want to put the total amount when you've printed off your tax vouchers and minutes for those two dividends in April, you want to put the total amount in there. So you've actually totaled, declared a total of 200 dividends. Meeting date doesn't matter. We're not going to be using that for the tax vouchers and the minutes. You could put 30th of April if you wanted to, just so you know it was for the whole of April. And then that will reduce the amount you've got the next month to declare as a dividend. So if you declare multiple dividends in a month, put them all in individually, for each one, print off the tax voucher and the minute, and then you can go and um, put the total amount and the, the month end date in there, so we make sure that you deduct off how much you've actually paid. You've also got some useful tabs here that tell you per, dividend, per shareholder how much dividends they have, what the gross dividend for the tax return is, and what the tax year that it's going to be included on is. And then you've got shareholder one and shareholder two. 
you can rename these if you want to so you could rename that to John Smith and you could rename that to Anne Smith if you wanted to as well so that's how the dividends workbook uh, worksheet works and in the ne next video we'll have a look at the director's loan account